China has once again delayed the delivery of the first hangar class submarine to Pakistan Navy to June 2026, four years behind its original 2022 schedule. French firm Thales is hiring Rafi Export Technical Assistance at Ambala Air Force Station, that will provide on site support for Rafi Avionics, electronic warfare, and targeting systems, that will cut maintenance and logistics costs by up to 30%. IIT Bombay researchers have developed a breakthrough control system that enables drones to fly in synchronized swarms without GPS communication links or a central hub, using only onboard cameras to maintain precise formations even in hostile or GPS denied zones. The Indian Air Force is advancing 500 km range cargo drone logistics for Lugshade Weep and Minicoy Islands to boost connectivity and maritime supply chains. Tato Advanced Systems will partner Australia's W and E Plat to co-develop and produce uncooled thermal imaging weapon sites. The Larsen and Tubro and Barrett Electronics Consortium leading the AMCA program has onboarded Dynamatic Technologies Limited as an exclusive partner to boost indigenous aerospace manufacturing and accelerate the AMCA development. The gas turbine research establishment has cleared trials for its 2.7 kN microburst turbojet, developed for DRDO's upcoming 500 km range air-launched air-to-surface missile system. Adani PLR Systems Limited has emerged as the only firm to clear NSG trials, and has now submitted its financial bid for 1,007.62 by 39 mm rifles. Bangalore-based SSS Defense and Indo-Russian Rifles Private Limited have both failed to clear the trials, while Kalyani Strategic Systems was disqualified for being unresponsive during evaluations. The RDO's Technology Development Fund has invited bids for the design and development of a jam-tolerant geared rotary actuator for the AMCA program, offering up to 90% government funding for developing a high-torque bidirectional actuator for its internal weapons bay. The Indian Navy is moving away from acquiring manned airborne early warning platforms like the American E-2 Hawkeye, and instead focusing on indigenous medium and high-altitude long-endurance UAVs equipped for airborne early warning and control roles. Armenia is set to sign a $3 billion deal with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to procure 12 Su-30 fighter jets, marking a strategic shift away from Russia amid delays in Su-30 SM deliveries. The comprehensive package includes Brahmo's NG compatibility, along with training maintenance offsets spares ground support equipment simulators and long-term sustainment. Shield AI's managing director for India has offered the expat AI piloted vertical takeoff and landing fighter jet to the Indian Air Force. The expat offers 2000 mile endurance, and its edge AI autonomy powered by Shield's hive mind AI enables it to dogfight like an F-16 without human input. The managing director also said that the X-BAT could operate alongside AMCA or independently for deep strike and ISR missions. Larsen and Tubro has partnered with US-based General Atomics to locally manufacture 87 medium-altitude long-endurance UAVs under a 30,000 crore rupees tender. Larsen and Tubro and General Atomics have offered the Grey Eagle extended range variant costing $30 million per unit, a far cheaper option than the $130 million MQ-9B Sky Guardian. The tie-up promises 60% indigenization and full Indian assembly, with LNT building airframes, and General Atomics providing avionics and payloads. The Grey Eagle Extended Range variant offers 25 plus hours of endurance, 29,000 feet altitude, and 1,000 pounds payload capacity with software based range extensions, making it a cost effective make in India solution against foreign alternatives. Today's Top 3 Comments